What's going on guys, it's your boy Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and this is my 20th weapon review from Ubisoft's latest release, The Division. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Vector 45 ACP high-end submachine gun. But before I get into the review, here are some basic stats and weapon info for you on the Vector. The country of origin is the United States of America. The rate of fire is 750 rounds per minute. The magazine size is 20. The fire type is full auto only and the reload speed is 2.30 seconds. Design for the Chris Vector started in 2006 and finally entered production in 2009 and is based upon an unconventional blowback system combined with inline design to reduce perceived recoil and muzzle climb. Developed by Chris USA, the Vector's Action, the Chris Super 5 system or KSVS, is an articulated mechanism which allows the bolt and an inertia block to move downward into a recess behind the magazine well. The theory is that at the end of this travel, energy is transmitted downward rather than rearward, reducing felt recoil. Originally designed to accept and fire Glock 21 pistol magazines and the same 9x19mm Parabellum cartridge, the now second gen variants have been modified to accept 13 round 45 ACP Glock mags and an extended high capacity version. More of a gun show marvel than a mass produced weapon, the Vector is a completely unconventional weapon and once again appears in a first person shooter. Right now the Vector is probably the most used and hated SMG in the game and I constantly see players running around the DZ with this beast equipped. I found the Vector to be more unstable than any of the other SMGs I have reviewed so far and the fire rate of 750 has been dumbed down from its real world claimed fire rate of 12 to 1500 rounds per minute. I found the mid range accuracy to be hit or miss as when fired full auto the hitbox jumps around and you have to be on your toes to keep your targets in sight. In close, the Vector shreds enemies with consistency and I can see why so many players are using it right now. My suggested mods would be barrel and grip attachments designed to improve stability as this is the one and only weakness of the Vector. In addition, a high percentage extended magazine mod is a must as the standard 20 rounds will lead you to constantly be reloading at all the wrong times. I'm going to rate the Vector ACP High End a 5 out of 5 stars. As I have said in previous reviews, the SMGs are clearly the class of the field and the Vector, while not perfect, is still a beastly weapon. The blueprinted version does not come with a stability talent, but if you have one with it, count your blessings. Since you will not have the normal SMG laser-like accuracy at mid-range, Remember to close your combat distances and use the impressive damage of the Vector to cut through enemies at closer ranges. With heavy stability mods and high extended magazine percentages, the Vector is more than capable of handling elites on those ever difficult daily challenge missions. As always, I would love to hear your thoughts on this weapon. Feel free to leave your opinions in the comment section below. In addition, if you could take the time to rate the video with a thumbs up, it would be greatly appreciated. If you would like some more Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and my weapon reviews in your life, follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash ltbuzzlightbeer. Remember to check my channel daily for updates, and I will leave a link in the description below to the rest of my The Division weapon reviews. Remember for my channel, likes, comments, subs, or loves. This has been your boy Buzz saying peace out.